I'm doing an exhibition here at the VAC called Z's, and uh, the exhibition's going to be centered around um, a canopy bed sculpture. And so the whole show has been put together around notions of sleep. So we have a pillow that's going to be involved in the show, some sheets, some carpeting. Uh, I'm originally from Los Angeles and I got here about a week ago and I'm here for another four weeks preparing for the exhibition. Um, and you know it's been great i keep saying this this residency potentially could have been anywhere in the united states but i'm very thankful it's in austin it's so beautiful here and um and it's a great experience just working with uh all these wonderful students here at the university and grad students and learn, meeting professors and just um, putting the get together the show here uh, in the space, I think is really a, a good good move. Well, I've I'm work off, I often work with found objects, and I like the transcendent qualities of mattresses in particular. And they're like pretty much everyone can recognize a mattress, but it's such a rudimentary thing. It's a rectangle with a certain thickness, and um, and we kind of all can. Uh, Empath or envision ourselves on it or you know within it or whatever it is and then uh, but then also just the idea of sleep is such a mysterious realm you know like what I don't know if the scientists have quite figured out how, how sleep works exactly and what goes on in the mind and I'm interested in, I guess, like what some might call real magic, such as like, if, you know, if potentially you see the future in your sleep, or if it's coincidence, or if you're, uh, what is it called, um, teleportation, or the thing where you can like travel out of your body, and you know that kind, of, like all that kind of mysterious magical stuff happens when one's <clears throat> asleep. So that's, you know, that's maybe some of the, the ideas that go into it. But the works themselves um, like to stay very much in the present. So there's this pillow that's getting coated in tacks, which is like supposed to be very, kind of keep you here now and maybe make you more aware of your sur immediate surroundings. but. Yeah. So this, one of the works in the show is going to be um, uh, an assemblage of found photo photographs. So here we have the photos in an untreated state, which is just, uh, I bought them at a thrift store in Los Angeles. And um, there, a lot of them are of interiors of houses, which are nice because I kind of I like that there's an absence of people with these images. And so once th those images are taken and then putty is put on the back of them, which ends up hardening and sand is pressed into the putty while the putty is still soft. And then they're laid on a pipe to give them the curve. And so they harden. And then once they've been hardened, I'm going to assemble them together in a way that I can't quite demonstrate with my two hands, but they'll start forming a kind of tumbleweed of images and then they'll sit on a mirrored pedestal and certain images will be kind of tilted downward and you can look into the mirrors and see the images being reflected that are facing down and then you'll see images coming up and I think of it a little bit like a condensation of memories or of just these relics of experience and yeah and I guess I see it relating to the show in the sense that it is uh, like almost this um, collective imagined realm or something or like not imagined but just me remembered re collective realm. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. It was a pleasure talking to you and now I wish you a fond farewell. Good night, take care and uh, dream on.